the fact that we actually go and rescue a ship named the SS That's... Azira. No, no, no. This is Azira with an E. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so ship movement. Uh, holding my right. Okay. So you have your thruster here. And Meow. stop showing off, Oliver, and stop making loud noises. Okay. Uh, so you have your thruster, and so instead of having W, which would make you go forward, the W actually makes you go down, S makes you lift up, uh, A t kind of tilts you to the left, D tilts you to the right, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Ship interaction, yeah, same as anything really. So yeah. if, I pr if I press E, my thruster goes up, and again, and again, and again. And you I'm can also reverse. Yeah, if I press, if I go all the way back, I also stop and reverse. And then you've also got your throttle control that you can just use mouse-wise. I usually use the mouse um, because, to be honest, I forget about uh, <laughs> about Q and E. But uh, yeah. But you, what you can also do is press R, where you just go um, full speed ahead. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. You've also got your full impulse. Which is full speed ahead. Yeah. So I just beam some people from there. Now to the Oakland. So yeah, most interacts in this game are um, just pressing F. Stop taking my people, we're in a team, remember? Hey, you got the first one. Meh 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 meh. I'm just spreading the, 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 the workload. Where are you? Behind you. You aren't oh. moving. Oh, okay. I forgot. It. <laughs> that, is it shift R to do full impulse? Uh, I don't yeah, know. it is. I don't use it off. Yeah. Yeah, shift R. Beam them from the boar into the Montreal. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Most of these are kind of low-level ships. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Uh, uh, wrong franchise, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot how the Borg officer. Oh dear, that that's terrifying. So your bridge officers will interact with you as well in these screens. Um, not all of them are your bridge officers, of course, but it's treated like your view screen sort of thing. It says renown. See, this is, a, wait, is this is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah. Some of these ships you don't actually ever get to fly. Um, like this one, the USS Renown, that class isn't... Actually, is it? It looks like a science ship. Uh, no, it's a cruiser. Um, actually, I think you might be able to. If it's... It might be one of the sea stores. I'm not quite sure. I don't think it is. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to show you some weaponry with the ships. Yeah. Right? Uh, I think that's next. Yeah. And I just walked into a asteroid. Well, you did. <laughs> We're using the very basic uh, level ships to start off with. Uh, as soon as you gain uh, every ten levels, you get to choose a new ship. I won't show you how to do it because um, if you want to find out how to do it, you can learn it yourself. I, I think we'll we'll put out a separate video for when we get new ships and that sort of thing. Yeah. Just won't uh, make it an episode. Yeah, what I actually need to do is change... How do I change how my thing looks? What's it called? The HUD? Rearrange HUD. Uh, there we go. Press escape, and yeah. then rearrange HUD, yeah. So this is what you can do to ch well, obviously change your HUD. Uh, I'm just moving everything over here. Uh, is that it? No. Hang on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why am I... Pers oh, personnel. Okay, yeah, sorry. I get that now. If, if you're wondering, he really is this bad in every game he plays. Not every game. Just most. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you can only attack within about 10 kilometers or so. Yep, 10 kilometers. In, in space, it's 10 kilometers. On ground, they've um, changed. The different weapons have different firing ranges. Uh, sniper rifle, well, obviously the longest, that's about 40 meters, 40 meters I think, that's special. 
but we'll see those. So, basically, like, oh dear, I'm really, I'm, I'm, so, I'm trying so hard to like talk and <laughs> talk and fight. Okay. It's uh, yes, yeah, space oh, space bar will be to fire your beam weapons, uh, and control space bar is your uh, your everything else like uh, torpedoes and uh, turret, not turrets. Uh, what is it? Torpedoes and mines. That's the one. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. A uh, couple of technical issues there, but we think we've got it sorted now. Uh, so yeah. I figured out my HUD, uh, my HUD uh, <laughs> disaster as well. It yeah. was a bit messy, but um, okay. So I shall point out: this is your shields. What you can do is, if someone is attacking you mainly from the front, if I press my forward shields, then the forward shields obviously get protected more. Right shields. Left it will. Shields. It will drain your other shields and put shield power into your forward shields. Yeah. Then there's your crew, and that helps with your hull repair rate, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, these things, which you can put more power into speed, defense, or attack. So for if depends on your kind of character, how you want to play, or just balanced. Yeah, and you can also make presets for that, like make your own presets. Yeah. Uh, just it's quite easy to do. It's nice. It's literally just sliders. With one for hundred. Sliders. Sliders. All right. Sliders. So obviously I can press one for my forward beams, two for my photons, and three for my aft beams, which are the back ones, the right? Weapons anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They also, all weapons have firing arcs. Um, these normal phasers have a 250 degree firing arc. Actually, Andrew, if you stop for a second and hover over your phasers, you'll get like a blue grid that yeah. will come up and show you your firing arc. Um, torpedoes have a much smaller firing arc. But they're much more powerful. Well, yeah. Uh, torpedoes are used for the hull, and uh, beams are used for shields. That's as a general rule of thumb. Yeah. You'll also get to use your um, British officer abilities for the first time here. Oh, yeah. I uh, forgot about that. I'll just explain that while I was attacking someone. Uh, mm -hmm. my, the one that we get first off is a uh, the high yield torpedo, which is basically just a tor when you, your next torpedo will do bigger damage. Uh, no, it launches two torpedoes instead. So yeah, bigger damage. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Uh, that's one of my favorite bridge officer abilities. It's a pretty standard one, and uh, I will always make I always like get the higher levels of those if I can. Yeah. And also when uh, I just found out that. Oh, okay. I'm being attacked from behind. That's a nasty one, Andrew. <laughs> um, when you go to full impulse, your engines, all your power will go to your engines, basically. Yeah. So you don't want to go full impulse straight into a battle because you have no power <laughs> in defense or attack or anything like that. It's a bad idea in general. Um, however, on one of my end level tunes, um, I've got I've got it set up so that um, I can basically switch straight from I can go in at full impulse and then come straight out and have firing as soon as I drop out and my power is immediately maxed and everything so right you might have seen there when I attacked when I attacked um, that Borg thingy you'll have seen <laughs> kind of circles around the side as you can see on my ship those are basically kind of how your shields are going and how their shields are going yeah so if you don't if there's not one there that means that side shields are gone so you can just attack there with your missiles mm-hmm Commander Kelly. Meaningful favors, blah 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 blah. I don't want to. Uh, um, okay, uh, I didn't want to. Ah, uh, crap. What are you doing? I, I started getting attacked halfway through. Um, I was picking oh. my people. <laughs> you only have one person there. Yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> I just, I just found out. Um, what you know that loud noise outside my door? Mm -hmm. Someone kicked on my door trying to get my attention and I didn't hear them because of my <laughs> headset. <laughs> Alright, so we're now going to do some more ground. Need to rearrange my HUD again. Powers tray over here. Okay, you just look silly. I look amazing. I have a, like, I have a lurper on my back. Yeah, and it looks silly. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, well, I'll hit you with it. I will hit you. Okay, we're going to get my ki kits and weapons and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. So you can do a little tutorial there, or you can just pick it up. Again, if you want to read, the, if you want to read these, uh, join the game. 
you know. free to play. Yeah. Okay, choose equipment. So kits are your basic thing that um, they, they differ for each class. Um, I start out with a tactical kit, photon torpedo, not torpedo, photon grenade rather, uh, which basically allow, it just allows me to throw a, a, a photon grenade. Um, what do you get? I get uh, the mine barrier thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is basically, right, I, I know I remember this from before, it's basically <laughs> like being Leroy Jenkins, you have to run in, put the mines down and run back out. Would yeah. You? And also I received a new weapon which I can switch to, which is like a sniper rifle, that's my favourite. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's me just put the mines down by accident, but as you can see, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. So yeah. yeah. So these guys are shooting the Borg and we've got to go help rescue some colonists, so let's go. Die Borg. Die, 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 die. I don't have to shoot those ones, but I just like shooting Borg. Oh, this is also... Hmm? I, f I, forgot to s I forgot to talk to Commander Kelly. Oh. Bit of a spaz. Uh, no, that's not Commander Kelly. Where are you? <laughs> Commander! He's like there. Oh, there. <laughs> Hi, Commander Kelly. <laughs> you know, I don't think this is be a very effective barricade, to be honest. Although it seems to be working quite well. <laughs> look at me with my look at me with my sniper rifle. Oh my gosh! Your gun is bigger than you. I know, and it's fantastic. Where are you? I've lost. Oh, you're are you over there. There you are. Engine room. Hang on. Uh. Oh, drone, die. Die. So, oh. oh, crap. So I can also uh, uh, give my companion an order with mm -hmm. she has a photon grenade. Yes, I don't care. Help, piss off. <laughs> right, so now we just need to rescue more colonists. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hang on, this is so really. Just go for this one. Where are you? Over here. Where's here? Here. Oh, you're behind me. Okay. Uh, come up over to me. I look badass with a tail and an eye patch and and a gun and leather. You're I playing. Cool. You're playing a girl. I'm a cat. Okay. So yeah, the sniper rifle has a much longer range than the um, than other than any other weapon actually. Yeah, uh, obviously it's a sniper rifle. Yeah, and it's nice. It's got a nice little bit of knot back on it, and it's all it's quite cool. Uh, every weapon has a special, so it has a standard attack and a special attack. Uh, in this case, the sniper rifle standard is just like a normal bolt, and the second one is a sniper bolt, which is the longer range one. And I, ac I accidentally just used a hypo, and I didn't mean to. Wow. Okay, see, okay, I'll talk to this when we're not being attacked by things. Um. <laughs> oh, wow, my, my boff actually went off and destroyed your, something without me telling it. Wow, thank your, you. Your boff? Oh, bridge officer. Oh, yeah. Also, doffs. You get doffs as well. A duty officer. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't anger uh, the beast. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mines! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, where's Shut Leroy? Shutting down the array. Where's Leroy? Hang on, I, I just I just put down the mines. Oh, you put them down in the wrong place though. I know. I didn't <laughs> Okay, um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask Oliver. Yeah. Okay, you already went. Um see on your ground hub weapons bar thing? Yes. Is there a way to take them off? What do you mean? Because I, I have multiple like hypos and multiple mines and stuff on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just right click and hold and drag them off. Oh, okay. It's like every other game in ever. Oh, but I didn't know you could right, you had to right click it. Yeah. Uh. And then if you press P, it'll bring up your powers list and you just drag them onto your train. Yeah, yeah, I know. Actually, you don't have to right click. You can just... No, no, I tried left clicking and it didn't work. Oh. Beat oh, me up, yeah. officer. I look so tiny. My guy's a captain. Can I just add that? He's going no. to be. 
he's, well, he, he's not the captain. He, he's an ensign, but he's going to be a captain. In about in thirty levels time. Wait, hang on. How can he be a captain? How can he lead a ship if he's not a captain? Is it easy? We're at war, dude. Haven't you read the story? Jeez. Button. No. Yeah. Alright, um, so that's that's a tutorial, isn't it? Uh not quite. Oh. Just just I think it's just the one more map. I gained skill points. Yeah, you did. Alright, yep. Okay, wow, so. one thousand five hundred and seventy five skill points, that was nice. Shall we go to the the one straight in front of us? Let's, mm, let's go to the one that's not going to be attacked by other people. Yeah. That was my thinking. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. So full power to weapons because there's gonna be bog here and they're not going to like us. Oh yeah, not being attacked by people. Sure. Well, those are just NPCs. Oh yeah. Okay, I knew that. Yeah. Wow, three NPCs. God, don't get that anywhere. Boom. Where are you? There you are. I'm behind you. I'm trying to get in range of him. <laughs> Don't worry, there's going to be a big a big cube in seconds, so you're fine. And you probably... These enemies probably seem really easy. That's because they are so far. <laughs> it yeah. is just this tutorial. But it's an epic tutorial. Yeah. So, so we need All to... Borg become the, uh, they are like, one of the end game people. At least they were. They've now changed it up a little bit, so we've got even more content in the end game. Um, oh god, there he is. Okay, hello. Fire the missiles! <laughs> okay, I think he's rushing them. I need to get in range. You're a Russian dwarf. Yes. Luke. Actually, no, I think I'm Irish, because my surname's, <laughs> my surname's Leprechaunicus. Wow. You yeah. took this seriously, didn't you? Yeah. Engie <laughs> Gnome Barnabas Leprechaunicus. <laughs> it's like, what's your name again? Uh, Engie Gnome Barnabas No, 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 your your name. Oh, your, uh, your full name. Andrew Donald James Berry. No, 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 your your full name. Oh, dear. <laughs> Panda Smurf, Passerberry, Lord Claude, Henrietta, Supercar, Donkey Face, Squidgy Pudge. The third, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the third. <laughs> yeah. But say you make a fine starship captain. How can I be a captain if I'm not a captain? Because anyone in charge of a ship is therefore called captain. It's naval tradition. Yes, so I'm a captain. Yeah, but you're not. Technically, I'm a lieutenant now. Exactly, you're a lieutenant. I, you haven't gone to, you haven't been like, you haven't gone to the ceremony yet. But yeah, it's nice to level up. <laughs> So I'm gonna warp to Earth. Hang on, I'm gonna just change up my skills. Put some stuff in weapon sufficiency and demolitions. <laughs> Except Tara. Uh, you can have more space stuff. Sweet. Um, enter warp. And here we go. And then we're gonna be in the real game. Yep, and that'll be the end of this episode, episode, right? Yeah, so let's go hand this in to uh, Admiral Quinn, who's basically the big chief. And look at all these pretty, pretty vessels. Oh yeah, we'll show you the vessels. Oh my god. They, they've got some good ones here at the moment. There's a nice little variety. Where are you? Have you arrived yet? Nope. Then afterwards I can drink my wine. <laughs> Wow, ooh, that's new. What's that guy got? Hmm, interesting. Oh, that green thingy. Wait, which one? No, no, it's, um, someone was using a strange console. Mm. Have you arrived? Uh, yes, you have. Yes, I have. So these are just some of the vessels that you can get, and they are just awesome. So if you look at the size of mine, and look at the size of others... <laughs> that there is an Odyssey class, and the Odyssey are the biggest Federation ships you can get. And they are so cool. Yeah. They're, they're also the new Enterprise class as well. The what now? The Enterprise F is an Odyssey class. Anyway, I'm going to dock. What yeah. you can do, actually, instead of docking, I'm going to show you something you can do. What can you do? You can go straight up to the door, can't you? Uh, almost. 
Well, well, you, can, you get almost there. Okay, it's full impulse. Give me full, I want to go faster. Uh, uh, they know when you have like bad pilots. They don't allow pilots like you to go full impulse anywhere near the dock. They no. learned the last time. Da, 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 <laughs> da. Okay, this is this is the slowest. <laughs> oh yeah, nice sweet cutscene. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, so this is new. This blue line. Yeah, it's just there for the tutorial. Yeah. Just to make sure you actually know where you're going. <laughs> but yeah, um, give us. Uh, okay, here we go. What's his name? What's the admiral's name? Oh my god! Admiral Quinn. Look how tall you are. Look how small you are. See, I'm I'm almost as tall as Oliver. Well, I don't I don't even come up to this guy's shoulders. Wow, and that's the smallest species in the game. Yeah. Like the actual small. His gun is dragging along the ground. Wow. Um, yeah. Is that, is that a euphemism? Well, you know me. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, oh. look, at, look at my gun. Oh, God. <laughs> I look badass with a sniper rifle. Just wait till I get like a minigun. Only when he's... Oh, dear. It's going to be huge on you. It's literally going to be the size of your face. No, it's like your body. Yeah. So yeah, this is the dude. This is like a big dude, Admiral Quinn. He rules everything. Well, I I'm knocking about a cup. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got collidable objects in this place now. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um. So as a um, every time that I go to uh, ten levels because I'm a gold uh, level because I was a subscriber and now I'm a lifetime member, um, I get a free starship modification. And uh, I also get free starship tokens. Uh, do you get a, a free modification as uh, a free member? It does say free starship modica modification. Okay, that's cool. So you'll get that every time, but I'll get a um, like a free starship every time. <laughs> okay, I'm just accepting some. Uh, s okay, so skills trainer and uh, changing clothes. But mm. I c I'll do these in my free time. Thank you very much for watching our first episode, and I hope that you'll come back for more. So uh, this is Lieutenant Shentu and Lieutenant Enginome, otherwise known as Andrew and Oliver, uh, the other way around. Uh, signing off. Thank you very much. Live long and prosper. I just do 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 do